particularly dangerous situation, and we are right there. May 22nd turned out to be a high-risk chase day with a major tornado outbreak in southeast Nebraska. It was this fateful day when the small town of Hallam, Nebraska was completely wiped out by a rare two-and-a-half-mile-wide tornado. What's that? And I'm expecting a tornado outbreak today. Oh my God, look at all the crap in here. Little preparation was required this day because we were already in our target area. Once storms initiated, it was just a matter of picking the correct supercell to go after. Nebraska, York, Nebraska, storm's initiating. Spin like it's the end of the world. What's to the southwest of us? Oh, way southwest, the McCook storms. You didn't know about that? These things are getting blown over over here. Incredible amount of wind shear up there. What's the helicities today? Did I, I guess 400, 500. After waiting for initiation in York, Nebraska, we headed west towards Hastings, anticipating a storm near McCook, Nebraska, would move into that area. New storms began developing to our southeast, along a differential boundary underneath the storm anvil from the storm to our west. Unfortunately, it was this new developing storm that would ultimately become the destructive supercell producing the devastating tornado that tore across Howell, Nebraska later on that evening. Yeah, then we can't, we can't touch it. After a long and risky navigation around the backside of the storm, we headed east. In this picture, you can barely see a wedge tornado on the south side of the supercell. In low contrast, in the center of this picture. Accelerating. Since we were coming in from the backside of the supercell, tornadoes quickly disappeared behind the rainbow. However, we were able to make it to the southeast side of the supercell as it evolved to HP status. This is still before the tornadoes that tore through Hallam were produced by the storm. sucked into that storm. The high precipitation supercell seen here is about 10 to 15 miles to the southwest of Hallam, Nebraska. Most likely the large tornado is tucked away in the rain and not visible from our vantage point. However, you could see the effects of inflow winds over 60 miles an hour, about 5 miles southeast of the storm. As you can see in this footage, there is evidence of a large circulation embedded in the supercell, illuminated only by lightning. The smaller funnels in the foreground are most likely satellite vortices rotating around the larger circulation. It's looking uh, like it's getting really close to the ground here. Most attention on this storm was focused on the small vortices that were developing ahead of the RFD slot. However, take a look in this image as it slowed down this to reveal structures behind the most obvious features. We can see the only possible evidence of the wide tornado just prior to striking Allen, Nebraska. Supercell was responsible for an earlier tornado, destroyed a house uh, about five to ten miles west of our current position. Found two tour buses just went into the core. 
two tour buses just went in the core. And strength. In the core. Core. I'm still waiting to see if Scott Blair go that direction. Though. He just said his radar is outdated by 30 minutes. Uh, in effect for Cash Look at all these mezzos. How many? How many think they're off? Uh, uh, radar uh, is a severe storm with a possible tornado. The most dangerous part of the storm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. God, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three areas of rotation on that sucker. Twenty-four, another one up here. Yeah. Incredible. Well, your stop. That activity could move into the northern part of this town, which is Petrus in Nebraska. Town north up here has been leveled. Which town? It's the two towns that we came through back then. This chase day ended in Beatrice, Nebraska. The next day was to be a down day anyway, so we settled in for the oh, night. Lightning shots. Are these posed? Uh, yeah. Is that what's going on? There you go. Oh, no. Wow. That is 